The Honourable Member for Dartmouth South. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question also is for the Minister of the Status of Women. In a recent op-ed, Shiva Nirpana, the Executive Director of Transition Houses of Nova Scotia, wrote that, quote, a lack of housing options is a key factor preventing women from leaving abusive relationships, and in many cases, contributes to their choice to return to abusers after they have left, and I'll table that. Mr. Speaker, will the minister commit, as only she can as a member of Executive Council, to making the investments needed today to ensure high rents and lack of housing do not leave women in abusive situations? The Honourable Minister for the Status of Women. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker, and I thank the member for this uh, question, um, knowing very well how passionate um, the member is um, about this issue, as well as all of us in this chamber. Um, currently, DCS is providing $100,000 in funding to four um, organizations to come up with a plan for a hub for um, 100 women and children. Um, so please uh, stay tuned for, for that um, endeavor that we're seeking. And of course, we're constantly working with our different service providers in um, ensuring that um, there's always a safe place uh, for women and children in this province. Thank you. The Honourable Member for Dartmouth South. Mr. Speaker, notwithstanding uh, that investment, Nurpana goes on to point out that the housing crisis is also leaving women and children in transition houses for longer periods of time. And even when families are ready to move on, they cannot find permanent affordable housing. Instead, what service providers are seeing across the province is that women and children are frequently moving into temporary housing, like motels or even tents. So, Mr. Speaker, given this reality and notwithstanding the funding that's already been committed, does the Minister for the Status of Women think that more needs to be done? If so, what is it? Because otherwise, women and children leaving abusive situations will continue to be shuffled from transition houses into motel rooms and tents. The Minister for the Status of Women. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And, and uh, as a follow-up uh, to the member, of course, um, I think this is extremely important. And uh, addressing it is uh, has proven to be uh, layered and complex. Um, everyone's needs are certainly different, uh, but certainly we continue to work with our service providers. Um, just recently, in the last couple weeks, we were able to place a number of uh, female individuals um, and uh, we will continue to do that. I also would like to remind the chamber here too that there's rent supplements. If you think someone is um, in jeopardy, that they can that they can as well. Please. It's noisy in the house. Let the minister finish. Please. A reminder of the supplements, the rental supplements, that is one initiative, but there are many, and if the member would like to sit down with me and discuss those, I'd be more than happy. 